Before I graduated from college, I, I had the wish to do some kind of mission work. So my initial desire was to do mission work when I was in college. This was to serve overseas in some sort of mission capacity. Since we've opened, I've been, I've been pretty much the only doctor. Most days, um, I get up around 5.30, I'll start the, the inpatient rounds. Uh, this takes a while, depending on how many inpatients there are. Sometimes there are 300, sometimes 350, sometimes 400. So it's, it's busy. The work is extremely difficult. Hours are long. I'd say the, the, the most difficult part of the job, the biggest hardship for me, is, is dealing with uh, deaths. They're, they're excruciating. The only way you can describe it is excruciating. It's physically painful. I don't see how else, how else you can describe it. I mean, they're, I mean, I think this whole the whole program is is is, is one of starvation. Why else would you bomb these? Uh, fields where people are trying to cultivate. I mean, I think they're trying to wipe the people out. I think they just don't want, they want, they don't want to do with it anymore. Yeah, I think they will never, I think there won't ever come a time where, where they'll accept them, give them their rights, give them equal opportunities, all those things. What Christ tells us to do, take care of the least of these, uh, I think he was serious when he said this. Like when, I, when I read that, it, it sort of has a meaning for me. I think I've been given everything in this life. I mean, all the opportunities from being born into this family, all the chances for education, everything. So I feel in some way I should pay something back. Um, I mean, the fact that you can, that you have, you can do something. I mean, whatever I, I, I mean, seriously, whatever I feel I can do is, is God-given. I'm not saying that in an arrogant way at all. Uh, I say that unashamedly and without reservation. And uh, yeah, I see it as somewhat miraculous.